Okay, so I am back with part two of my empties, and this is all from January. Um, some of it's from December, of course. So, um, the rest of the items, just a few more, so I will go ahead and get into them. Some of them are makeup related. We did finish quite a few of the... Wallflowers. And I'm trying to make sure I have the right labels to show you. One, two. And some of them... I think one of them may not have a, um, a label. I don't even remember what it is. But here are two of them. And then here are two more. They are completely empty. And they were very strong. And the fragrance that I got them in was the Marshmallow Fireside. So I guess they had this one and then they had this label that also came out. So there's three different ones. This is a cuter label. But they, to me, all smell just as strong and just as nice. Um, me and my husband love those. And we actually, I think, maybe have some of those in back stock. I don't, I can't remember if we have that exact one. But I know we have some different wintry, fall type fragrances. So, always a repurchase. Finish up a candle um, lighter. We always finish these up from Dollar Tree. Love those. Um... We finished up do 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 okay. Yes, continuing on with home fragrance. This was a candle from Oh, here's the other one. I'm sorry. Here's the other little thing. Juniper and pine was also used. So um it was this nice little kind of blue purpley color and it was a really good one too. And this was Holiday Berries. This is 10.5 ounces, and this lasted quite some time. This is by E.D. on Air, which is Ellen DeGeneres. And um, as you can see, it burned all the way down to the bottom. It did, had very little bit of sitting. And it was a really good fragrance. I have, like, a bunch more of these because I got them in a kit on clearance at QVC. And so I have several that are different colors. So you will probably in the coming months see them as we go through them. They have some smaller ones. They have actually some that are larger than this that are going to last a long time. And I figured since it's kind of fall-like time, it's a good time to use them. And okay, keeping on. We finished up the Berry Pumpkin Strudel Candle. And as you can see, it burned all the way down to the bottom. Um, oh my God, that smells so good. One of my friends here on YT was talking about this and like raving about it. And I was, I kept smelling it in the store and I was like, it doesn't smell like anything special. Once you get down to the nitty gritty and you start burning it, it's wonderful. So yeah, I would definitely... Purchase this again. I know it went on clearance at some stores for the 75% off sale. I did not catch it. But yeah. And then I finished up a very small sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I love this scent. I actually burned this in the bathroom and also in the bedroom just by my nightstand. And I love these little bitty ones for that purpose. They're really usually strong scent. So I like it. And I got that as... It was like a little three-pack that I got for my birthday in September. And that's the first one I finished from that. This is a Cider Lane. And this one also burned down to the bottom. It kind of burned funny at the end. But as you can see on the sides, it just it burned all the way down. And it's my favorite candle probably for the as far as, far as fall scents. It smells just like a caramel apple. And I loved it. couple of lids from the um, wallflowers that I use. Some of these are just packaging from stuff that I'm about to use up. Um, I went ahead and just got rid of this. This is the Bite Beauty from, I think, the birthday gift a couple years back. Anyways, it's never really been used that much. But with Bite, I think their products are like vegan and they're like kind of a natural type product. So, um... I figured if since I've had it so long, I'll just go ahead and toss it since I don't use it anyway. 
And then I have this lipstick from Ulta. It's very, basically berry, and it's a matte lipstick that came in like one of their little kits. But as you can see, it's like completely dried out. I don't know if you can see that. But it's completely dried out even before I used it. And so I'm not really a fan of a lot of their makeup products anyway, so I just thought I will toss that. Um, Urban Decay's Perversion. This is a mascara sample that I absolutely love. There's what the brush looks like, but I've had it over three months, so I figured it'd be time to throw it out. And I would have purchased that, um, especially if just the samples, if I get points from Sephora and stuff, I'd get it with points. This is Christine, Christy Brinkley Complete Clarity Daily Facial Exfoliating Polish, and I love this. This was a in like a Sephora, you know how they send you sometimes, if you spend 25 you can get like a whole little thing of samples. This was a sample that I received from them, and I think I got it from them, either them or QVC, I can't remember, but... You got it quite a bit, 0.33 fluid ounces. It lasted me quite a few uses, and it was really gentle and really nice. And I finally finished up a foundation. I don't know in the history of me, besides throwing them out, actually finishing one. It looks like there's a little bit more on the sides, but as you can see through, it's like nothing in there. That's like just stuff on the sides. Even on the bottom, I scraped it. And this is in the Matte and Poreless um, Maybelline Fit Me, and this one was normal to oily the color was number 322 warm honey and i actually did repurchase this in toppy this is a little bit deeper i figured i needed a little bit of a deeper shade it matched but i would kind of have to add some other stuff to it because it was like almost like a little bit too light but i love that and it's i think this is like only I know it's less than $10. I think it's like around $4.99 that I usually get it for. I don't know if that's a sale price or if that's just the normal price. I think it might be the normal price. But it's really good stuff and you get a fluent ounce. And so, of course, it lasts me quite some time. And the final thing I finished up is the Diva Curl Sample. One of them that I received at um, the Christmas I got like a little three kit. It had this in it. It had the, um, this is the No Poo Decadence Zero Lather Ultra Moisturizing Milk Cleanser. And it says Bye Bye Dry. Um, and you got 1.4, 1.5 fluid ounces. And I got this, a conditioner, which I'm still using. I think it's still in the shower. I don't see it, but I think it's still in there on the other side. And a, a coconut styler. And I do, I love their products. They're expensive, so I don't know if I would ever repurchase them unless they came in a little kit like this. But with my, the thickness and stuff, as you can see of my hair, my little afro I got going on, um, I use up so much product that it needs to be something that's, a little bit thicker and a little bit more um, cost effective kind of so it is a good product I would highly recommend it it does work but I didn't see any results that are just like out of this world that I need to like actually buy that over stuff that's three to three to four times cheaper so those are the things that I finished up for January what have you guys finished if you guys have empties videos please tag me or let me know to go to your channel and go look at them because I love them they're my favorite types of videos besides Bath and Body Works hauls probably I'll see you guys in the next video bye